Hello everyone and welcome back to another video tutorial. Um, yesterday or last night, uh, Elementor guys just released a new version of Elementor. I didn't even update. Let me just go ahead quickly and update it. Elementor Pro, it's um, it's version 1.14. So let me update that. Update plugins. Okay, and they introduce a new module called Call to Action here. This is a call to action module and this, uh, these are some of the examples which you can do as you can see here. Okay. Also here you can see the ribbon here. You can do some ribbons here. Uh, these are all examples uh, can be done using this uh, new uh, nice model call to action. All this kind of stuff you can do it. Here some effects. Also here some filters, uh, it's like Photoshop, you can just add some filters and it's very very cool actually. Um, on the top here, they got a video so you can watch it if you want to know uh, what else you can do with it. But anyway, I just updated my Elementor version, so let me see what can I do with it. If I go here and Pages, Add New, let me call it uh, Call to Action. Module Publish Edit with Elementor. Okay, so let me add a new section and we're gonna add a new model. The model, by the way, under the Pro Elements, so uh, you have to have the Pro version to be able to use this model here where it is. Uh, call to action, just drag it. When you drag it, give you this option here, skin classic and cover. Okay, let me add an image so you can see exactly what we're doing over here. Okay, this is the default call to action model, by the way, if you used to uh, call to action before, like uh, bootstrap or foundation, this is kind of uh, the normal or the default view of the uh, call to action, but also you get here classic one, which give you more option here. As you can see, the image here is on the top, uh, which is this one by default, if I make it to the right, the left, and so on. Let me make it to the right. And you can see here, this is like 50-50. The image takes 50% of the size. Let me change that. If I go to Style, Image, Minimum Width, maybe let me make it 65%. Here we go. Also, you can control the height of the, the whole uh, the image, by the way. Also, the here here the height of the uh, of the box. So if I make the box this one here, and this is the minimum height. I don't think. Uh, yeah, okay. Let me make it to default anyway. Okay. Um, what else? Let me see. If I go to the column, I just want to give it a color, a ground color, so I can get some nice effect like this one here. Okay, so if I go here, uh, this call to action, classic. Also, you can control the layout. Depends on your device. That's very cool. Image size, you can choose image size. The content, let me call this header. And text, let me get some text from here. And do it here. Uh, the button here, you can add whatever. Button. But you know what? Just I don't want this one. I don't need a button. Uh, what else here? The ribbon. Let me call it ribbon. Where it is? Oh, here on the right side. Oh, I can just put on the left. Also, the color of it, I can change the color if I go here. Boxes, content, ribbon. Background color, I can change the color of it. Also, I can change the text color, can change the distance which is very cool. If I make it to default, I delete the number. Typography and bug shadow also, you can add shadow to it. Blur and spread. You can do the spread of it. Also the horizontal and vertical and those kind of stuff. And the inset here, that's this really nice. Here we go. We can do this effect. It's okay. Uh, what else here? The hover effect. Let me see. Okay, the box here, 
This is minimum height. This is alignment of the text. Left, right, center, and a vertical top. The bottom, if I make the box, for example, a little bit bigger, like that, you can see this text here in the center, the top, or the bottom, like that. Also here, the content, you can see this is image. You can add image on the top of this stuff in here, or you can add just icon, if I see it, for example, desktop. I can get this desktop icons on the top of it. And also if I go here, box graphic elements, you can see you get now a new option in gra uh, graphic element. This is the spacing. Okay. I can add the spacing here and we can maybe by default primary color. You can just give it a color like that. Icon size, I can change the icon size if I want. I can do it this way or just delete it for the default size. Okay, the content, the title here, I can also change the type of it, make it 600 and whatever, you can change it, the spacing between uh, the title and uh, description, and description, the same thing, then I go back here to the content, oh, you will see the color here, we got the normal and the hover, okay, and background color, Title color, description color. Okay, so first of all, let me change the background of this text here. Background color, make it black. Okay, and the header, I make it white. And this one here, description, I make it off white, something like that. Also, this icon here, let me change the icon, graphic elements, and make it white. Or oh, just something very nice like that. Here we go. Or you know what, just make it white. Let's we make it off white. Here we go. So we got this one here and we got this um, uh, icons. Let's go back here to the graphic elements and the content. We did it. And the hover here effect. So if I go here, okay, see this effect. If I go to hover here, if I choose white, okay, I change the color of the box itself, the text, okay? Not the whole box, I'm sorry, this just text. And okay, I can change this one here. Title, I can I make it black. And the text also, I can make it black or off black. Like that. But how can I change the icon here? Okay, there is no hover effect. Let me see. Graphic elements. Color. I cannot change that. I cannot change on mouse over. I cannot change the graphic elements. It will be nice if I can change that. Okay. Okay, this is this is for the content. Well, let me see what else. The ribbon here. Okay, of course the ribbon we, we change it. The hover effect. Okay, the zoom in, zoom out. If you look here, this mouse over, okay, I got this effect zoom in. I can choose it, zoom out, and here we go, zoom out, okay, and also you got many options here to choose from, and here is normal, the normal here, the overlay background, this one here, if I give it a color like this, you will see this is the normal, okay, if I make it like that, so you'll see here. But anyway, I'll take this one off. And also you can get the blend mode. That's, that's really nice actually. It's like a Photoshop. So I can change screen, see darken, or color dodge. And so you can have all this effect, color. It's it's very cool. See? But anyway, make it normal. Take the color off. And CSS filters here. You can see you got blur. See? You can blur it. Okay, but anyway, let me leave it. I'll go to the hover effect. Overlay color, I'll give it this color here. So when I mouse over, you'll see the color change. You see? Color change. Also, see this filter here, I can just give it a blur. You see? Also, you can play with the brightness. Contrast, saturation, here you go. 
that's very cool. And of, of course, here is the effect duration. But again, um, I'm still annoyed with this icon here. You cannot change the color when you mouse over. I hope uh, they can add option for that. Or maybe there, and I don't know where it is. But anyway, if you know guys how to change it, just let me know. Okay, let me duplicate this one. <coughs> and what I'm going to do with this one here, uh, let me do this. Uh, let me duplicate it. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me make this one two columns. And for this one here, I will make the text on the right side. And the image, I will make it 25%. Also, this image here, let me see. I'm gonna take this uh, image. I need to add a solid color here. Let me see if I can do that. Content, layout is just an image. If I delete this one here, it will fill the whole thing. Of course, I can add another column here, but it's not really practical. So, the only way to do it is just add a solid color. I wish I had, we got an option here to add solid color instead of image. Okay, like that. And for this one too, if I take the image to make it 20% and change the image and make it red. You see, I wish we have an option for that. But anyway, let me just get rid of this stuff in here. Um, this content, hover effect, <coughs> deleted. I do want this one here. Uh, normal, I'll make it, you can see here, it's black. That's nice. Okay. What else we can do in this one? If I, if I duplicate this one here, and click this one up and this this row and make it stretch full width and duplicate this one okay this one is still annoying here if I let me choose this one and just, I don't like it I don't like it this way I got a content content here normal I make I take it off <coughs> color this one I make it black, and this one make it white, or oh, off black, sorry, like that. Here we go. Okay, as I said, I wish we can add a color here, but anyway, and this ribbon also, I can just make it on the right side, like that. For this one here, if I want to change the image, let me get this image here. And also get this image, the same image. Okay, and what else? If I duplicate this one, get this one here, make it toxic 1200. Okay, and let me get the image at the top. Here we go, image at the top. And the image size, image size, uh, doesn't affect, oh, image, image height, minimum height. Let me take this image box out here. Here we go. So image height, like that. Okay, and you can get this effect. This card here. I'm going to delete this one. And duplicate this one here so we get this effect which is very neat very nice I mean there's a lot of things you can do guys with this um, uh, call to action I'm sure I'm gonna use this one maybe in almost every project I will start to work on so uh, um, this is how we do it but there's two things here I don't know if they are there or and I cannot find them or they need to add it first of all to change the color of the icon when uh, mouse over okay cannot change the color of the icon also I want to be able to add solid color instead of the image I know I can add a column here I know I can do it in CSS I know there's a lot of ways to do it but 
it will be nice if I go over here and add just a color next to uh, the image. Uh, anyway, if you need to uh, look at more of the examples here, you, you can look here. Also the button here, if you want, you can just come to this one. And the content here on the bottom, you can just, just click here. And you got the bottom here. Okay, and you can, of course, you can change the color of it. And okay, it's just, you know, I like things to be perfect. So I duplicate this one. Okay, here we go. So again, guys, this is the examples in the Elementor website. Thanks Elementor for adding this cool element, uh, the call to action. And I love you guys. Anyway, that's all for today's video. If you like my video, please subscribe and see you next video. Take care.